And today I'm going to be showing you guys this lovely maxi dress that I made this week. It's super easy, it's fast. Like I always say, I'm all about super easy and fast sewing tutorials. But today I have a special announcement, or will I say, I am giving away two yards of this print to any lucky subscriber. I have the opportunity to collaborate with a company called Digital Fabrics. This is basically is a company that is based in Sydney, Australia, and they are able to print on any kind of fabric that you choose to print on. And they have different kind of prints. You even have the ability to choose your own print, and they print it in house and send it to you. They print by meter, so if you want a fabric, you have to order at least a meter for them to be able to print on it. And this is the print I chose. I really love this print. It's very tropical. I don't know. I love the orange, the deep red, orange, and the blue. So, yes, I'm giving away two yards of this fabric and also two yards of lining. So, if you want to win the fabric, all you need to do is you need to follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be picking the winner actually from my Instagram page. So, definitely make sure you're following me on Instagram and tell me what you're going to make with your fabric. I think I'm going to announce the winner by next week, I think. Next week, for sure. And yeah, it's super easy. Follow me on Instagram and tell me what you're going to make with this fabric. And if you want to order your own prints, I'm going to put all the information to this company in the information bar. Definitely go check them out because they have awesome prints. Yes, I think this is it. I hope you guys love this tutorial. Thumbs up. Make sure to share it and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Thank you guys so so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So for this tutorial you're going to need um two yards of fabric. <coughs> and if you want it super full then you can make it three yards, but I think three yards is enough. So two yard uh two yards of any lightweight fabric. I'm using this chiffon and because the chiffon is see-through we're also going to need a lining but if you want it if you want to skip the lining you can definitely skip the lining or if you're using another fabric that you don't need a lining then it's even better and we're going to need elastic we're going to need pins machine thread and of course you're going to need your sewing machine okay so i already went ahead and kind of cut out the scrap for the top of the dress it's really super easy you're just going to take a, a bralette that you have at home and you just need this rectangle here this is what you need and then you're going to make it bigger because you're going to gather it a little bit so you can make it as wide as you want because you're going to gather it anyways so okay guys so after cutting you should have these pieces so two pieces from the main fabric two pieces from the lining and this is all for the top of the dresser and this is the strings that you need to to tie the dress at the back so you're going to cut out two strings mine is in total i don't know for sure let me quickly measure it for you guys is 28 inches by 28 inches by two and a half so you're gonna also go ahead and cut two of those and then you just want to go ahead and fold it like so and then you're gonna sew it all the way around and you're gonna turn it inside out and then you have a string so first of all I'm gonna go create the string and then I'll come back to show you guys how to attach the string to the front bodice. To attach the lining, the main piece and the strings together at the same time. So what you want to do is, you're going to place the main fabric like so. And you're going to place, place the string right on top of it like this. And you're going to place the lining like this on top of it. And then you just want to go ahead and sew it from here down, like from here all the way around. 
leaving the bottom part open because you're going to use that to turn it inside out and then you're going to repeat the same step for the other side of the bodice okay guys so I already went ahead and sew it and now you're just going to turn it inside out this and then you have this 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 and you just want to go ahead and iron it properly now that it's flat iron what we want to do is we want to pleat it so we have the full you can either gather it or you can pleat it i decided last minute i think plain is going to look good and my pleats are i think i'm going to do just four pleats in here and they're quite random so i really don't i don't mention that i didn't measure them measure them and that's the kind of look I'm going for. I think I'm going to put three pleats here at the bottom. And the last one is this here. Okay, guys, so after sewing the pleats in place, you should have this at this point. Get this out. So basically the front, the upper part of the dress is done. You just need to attach it to the bottom part of the dress. So now we're going to keep this and we're going to work on the bottom part of the dress. On the bottom part of the dress, so we're going to create um, an elastic casing so we can insert the elastic. And by do, if you want to do that, you're going to attach the lining to the main fabric first. So. You're going to take your main fabric and place it on your right side facing each other and you're just going to sew it at the top all the way through okay guys so like i said i already sewed the lining and the main fabric together and i also went ahead and ironed it so now we're going to create the the tunnel for the elastic and you just want to go ahead and pin it right here as you can see just enough space so the elastic as you can see my elastic is quite thin so if you want a thicker elastic you will have to make the width of your of your tunnel as wide as your elastic so I'm just going to pin it all the way through I would advise you to really properly iron the fabrics because everything is going to align if you iron it if you iron it properly because if you don't and then you're just gonna have some sluggish looking tunnel you don't want that so you're just gonna go ahead and pin it all the way and then sew the tunnel in place and then you're gonna insert your elastic so i already went ahead and sewed the tunnel in place and now we're going to insert the elastic with a safety pin What you want to, want to do is you're going to sew it and also sew close. After sewing that, you're going to flip it back. Sorry, so you have right sides facing each other like this. And you're going to sew close the main fabric and also sew close the lining at the same time. Right, so this is what it looks like um, just after adding the elastic. And now we're going to pin the two things we already made. You know this. We're going to pin them in place like that and then you just need to pin them in place sew them and your dress is almost done so i'm just going to show you now how to pin them in place
tight as a as a bat. So the back should be like this, like this, the stitch, and the front should be something like this. So you're going to go ahead and sew it here, and sew it here, and your dress is done. <laughs>